In this video I'll be showing you how to add text to your display using your mobile device. Let's start by connecting to your display's Wi-Fi connection. To do this, go to the Wi-Fi section in your mobile device settings. Select the display's Wi-Fi. If prompted, enter the password. It should be 8 8 If the Wi-Fi password was prompted, wait for another prompt and select Keep Wi-Fi Connection. After we've successfully connected to the display, open the LED Art app. If you aren't presented with a screen like this, I suggest you go and follow the other tutorial on how to connect to the display. To add content to the display, click on New Program 1. If you don't have any program, click New Program. To add content, click the plus button on the bottom right of your screen. Select the content you want to add. I'll be adding text in this tutorial. Type your text. You can change the text color. And the background color. You can make the text italics, or underlined. You can also change the alignments to left, justified, or right. Vertical align to top, center, or bottom. And I almost forgot, you can bold the text too. If you want to add effects to the text, you can head over to the effects tab. Since we have a single line of text, let's enable single line. You can change the effect. For single line text there is only two options. Changing the speed to a smaller number makes the effect go faster, while larger numbers do the opposite. Last but not least, you can add borders to your text. You can change type, the effect, and the speed of that effect. After you've customized the text to your liking, you can send it to the display by clicking the Send button at the top right of your screen. Click on your display device to send to the display. You can always make changes to your screen by editing the content and resending it to the display. I'll go ahead and remove the text border and resend. That completes this tutorial on how to add text to your display using your mobile device. If you'd like to add more full display content, add another program here and follow the steps as we did earlier in this tutorial. 